So far, so good when it comes to Scotland and the coefficient. But the question is, is it going to get better? Is the best still to come? And could we be looking at our best performing year in the coefficient in a long time? Welcome back, guys. So Scotland TV, I think we could be. And today, we're going to look at it. So we know the last couple of seasons have been pretty diabolical. All the teams have let themselves down. We've fallen down the rankings. Next season, we've no longer got the two teams in the Champions League. We no longer are in the top 10. As of right now, I believe we are 16th in the coefficients. And that's not good enough for a country like us. I, I, I'm looking at like Switzerland, I'm looking at Denmark, Greece, Austria, Norway. They shouldn't be above us. I don't think those are countries that should be above us. Now, I mean, it's not as low as we have been. I remember when Rangers were in League 2. We were down in 27th and those were bad times. Celtic couldn't qualify for the Champions League. All the other teams could barely win. Uh, a European game, and it was tough. But this season, I think we're doing all right. So we're going to look at what the clubs have accumulated, and then we're going to look at how Scotland are doing in comparison to the leagues around them. So uh, you can see here, Celtic, Rangers, Hearts, Kilmarnock, St Mirren, the five teams that are representing Scotland in this year's uh, European UEFA competitions. We've got three out of the five still remaining, Kilmarnock and St Mirren, obviously, being eliminated and it started off not bad Kilmarnock and St Mirren the, the qualification campaign started off okay Kilmarnock yeah they dropped into the Europa League qualifiers Europa League conference qualifiers but you know then they picked up a win St Mirren picked up a win we've seen Kilmarnock and St Mirren both advance into the next round but I mean it wasn't great it was okay because St Mirren played four and only lost one Kilmarnock played six, only lost two. So, for the most part, Kilmarnock and St Mirren did okay. Now, both teams only won one game each. And out of the ten games in total, that means Kilmarnock and St Mirren between them only won two. Now, that is disappointing. I get it, they only lost three. And, you know, but the majority, half, half of them were draws. And draws just don't produce as much coefficient points as wins. But between Kilmarnock and St Mirren, the qualification process the qualifying rounds wasn't that bad however then you factor in Rangers and Hearts and it really was bad we've seen Rangers lose to Dynamo Kiev get knocked out that was a very poor performance we've seen Hearts in their attempt to qualify for the Europa League really poor lost both games so Rangers and Hearts did do quite a bit of damage there is no doubt about it they were both shite Hearts uh, lost both Rangers drew one and lost one, but they really should have. Rangers fell at the first hurdle, and obviously Hearts fell in the playoff hurdle. So, yeah, both disappointing from them. However, since the actual competitions, the league phases have started, we've been pretty good. Hearts, two out of two in terms of wins. 100% record, that's good. Rangers have won two out of three. Yes, the Leon defeat was disappointing, but still, you know, two wins out of three. Not bad. And Celtic have won one, drawn one, and lost one, which is not bad considering when you factor in that they've played two away games. And those were against Dortmund and Atalanta. Nobody expected Celtic to get anything from them. So to get a point was good. Then obviously they won their home game, which they were expected to against Slovan Bratislava. So I think that the Scottish clubs are heading in the right direction. You will pick up more points now that you're in the league phase. And I think we're going to see Celtic Rangers and Hearts continue to get good results as this league phase goes on. Now, we have averaged 4.4 at the moment. 22 points accumulated between the five teams. An average of 4.4. But I believe that will go up. And if we look at the table here. So this is the current table. Scotland at the moment, like I said, have 22. And that's more than some of the teams around them. You look at Switzerland, they've got 21. Or I should I say above them. If you look at the teams above Scotland, let's not focus on below us. Let's focus above us because we're doing better than the teams below us anyway. I believe there's not a single country below us doing better. Sweden are doing the same. They've accumulated 22 points. But I think that's it. Nobody 
yeah, nobody below us is doing any better there, as you can see. Yeah, so that's it. So we are doing as good as Sweden and better than everybody else below us. So we'll focus on just above us now uh, for the sake of the video. And we are on 22. So you can see CS here, current season, we've got 22 points. Uh, Switzerland, who are above us, have got 21. Denmark, above us, 18. Greece, above us, 17.5. Okay, Austria is doing pretty well. They've got 26. Then you've got Norway, 21. Point five. So we're doing better than one, two, three, four of the countries directly above us. And I think that we will continue to do better than those countries. You can look at Norway, they only have two teams remaining. Denmark only have two teams remaining. And it's not just the amount of teams you've got remaining, it's the amount of teams that you've got actually doing well. And when you look at Celtic Rangers and Hearts at the moment, they're all doing well, and I expect them all to make the playoffs. Minimum. I think minimum Celtic Rangers and Hearts will all make the playoffs of their respective competitions, which will mean they will get even more points for qualifying for the next round. So, look, despite us only being on 22 right now, I think it's a positive 22 because we've got off to a good start in the league campaign and I see us going forward. I see us looking ahead rather than looking behind. I don't feel like we're defending the 22 points and we're, we're trying to get to the end and we're looking around us. I don't see it that way. I see us as moving forward and collecting more points. I think we're going to start winning more games and I think we're going to extend the gap that we already have over these other teams. I see us getting further ahead of Switzerland. I see us getting further ahead of Denmark and, and Greece. And I see us potentially catching some of the nations in front of us. Now, Turkey are currently 1.5 ahead. They have got four teams still in European football, but they've most importantly, they've got no team in the Champions League. And we know that, obviously, Champions League is where you pick up the most coefficient points. So Celtic should be able to outscore those teams if they have a good end to their Champions League league phase. And I think they could. But yeah, look, I mean, right now, we're down in 16th. I expect us to, by the end of the season, we're marginally behind Switzerland, um, Denmark, and Greece. I'm going to predict that we overtake all three of those nations. I think we will. The way things are going right now, we're on course to anyway. But I, I, I believe that next season, we will be above those three. We have to be, unless we fall off massively. And as for the likes of Austria, Norway, I still think they're catchable. And I'm actually going to go ahead and predict that. I think that we will be back up to 11th. Because there's not much between us. We've got 30 Point seven, Norway are 33.2. And I expect our teams to perform better from here to the end of you know their runs in Europe than I expect Bodo Glimp and Molde to. So I believe that we will get back up to 11th. But obviously, the top 10, that is where you want to be. That is where you get two teams in the, uh, the Champions League. So look, we'll see. But uh, as for now, I I'm happy with how things are going. We're performing well, and we just need to keep it up. And, you know, I think that we're in a really good position. Honestly, Hearts, two wins out of two. Pretty much got one foot in the next round. Rangers, two wins out of three. Pretty much got one foot in the next round. Celtic got the win in their opening game, then picked up a bonus point against Atalanta, effectively. Uh, if they win their games that they're expected to win, Celtic will be in the next round. So... At the moment, as long as Hearts, Rangers and Celtic do not have, you know, shockers, as long as they do not get upset in the games that we expect them to win, they'll comfortably be in the playoffs because they've done the hard part already. You know, they've already done what you expect them to do. And, and just looking at the fixtures and looking at the quality of our teams, we should be there. So anyway, guys, that's it. Let me know your thoughts down below. I do expect us to move up five places. And I think we'll overtake those teams that are in front of us up to 11th place. And when you think about it, we should be ahead of those countries anyway. I mean, we're a better footballing nation than Switzerland, Denmark, Greece, Austria, Norway. I mean, it is what it is, but none of those countries have clubs that come close to the size of Celtic Rangers alone. You know, and that's just factoring in the top two. So... Yeah, I mean, we really ought to, to be ahead of them anyway. Once you get ahead of them, 
it gets a bit more trickier. I mean, I still think that we should be better than Czech Republic, but shout out to the Czechs at the moment. They're doing pretty well. Sparta Pra, Victoria Plaza and Slavia Pra, uh, you know, they are having good runs. And then you've got the Turkish clubs who are always pretty good. Fenerbahce, Galatasaray, Bestikas, you know. I think in recent years we've seen the Turkish league improve quite a bit. They've even got Jose Mourinho managing in there, so uh, we know that they're they're decent right now. But uh, I do expect us guys to get close to the top 10, and I think we'll be 11th by the end of this European campaign. Anyway, that's it. Let me know your thoughts down below, and I'll catch you in the next one, guys. Till then, be on Scotland TV. Thanks for watching, and peace.